Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review season four and the final season of Dear White People. And it's been a while since I've gotten around to checking this out, unfortunately, because I'm a, I was a huge fan of the film when it came out, and then I was a really big fan of this series. And this final season, I remember them announcing, and I'm like, I guess not a huge hurry to check it out then, because like, there isn't going to be any more after this. This came back out back in September 2021, it looks like, and still focusing on the predominantly white Ivy League college with a group of black students trying to navigate all the discrimination. And this is from creator Justin Simeon, and this last season takes things into a different direction. Up until this point, you had like Giancarlo Esposito narrating this series, and then it kind of revealed like some kind of like Illuminati kind of thing. And this last season just kind of throws all that out. And it has a new frame narrative. And it has a new approach to storytelling. And the frame narrative is you have Sam and Lionel, our two main characters, in the future. And they're going back and telling what happened in these like final moments of the series and then you wind up bringing all the other characters and you see them all when they're older some of them it's like let's throw a goatee on this person make them look older um it's kind of silly but you get to see where they all wind up and that's pretty interesting and compelling and i think the frame narrative had that potential but it just fell out of nowhere and then this became a musical like there's musical numbers in every single episode multiple musical numbers and i'm like I like musicals. I'm not going to complain about this necessarily, but it was an interesting choice, and the musical numbers are actually really well done. Um, and you get this sense of like them really trying to wrap this up because I don't know. This series never had like this urgency to feel like it needed a wrap up, but I guess it's like, well, you can only be in college for so long, and then you have to get the hell out of there. So I guess that kind of felt like the natural progression. And you see Sam struggling, trying to get her next big project up off the ground, and her trying to make something of her of her project. And there's a, I think one of the biggest cruxes, like her and her on and off, on and on uh, relationship with Gabe comes to a really big head because like Gabe sells out and makes a movie for a bunch of Christians. Um, it feels like straight out of uh, Ed Wood where he makes that Christian movie, uses all their money, and then just makes, like, a zombie movie, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Um, but, like, it goes... There's a, huge, a great network reference where it's just, like, this Christian guy, like, freaking out on him, like, Ned Beatty. And, like, they even acknowledge the reference in the, in the show. But having that, and then her being mad at him for selling out, and Sam trying to deal with her own thing, where it's just, like... She gets mistaken for another black artist while people are in there, like, looking at her pro uh, her potential uh, assignments. I feel like Troy kind of gets pushed to the side a lot in this season. I don't recall really latching on too strongly to his storylines going on. You have uh, Coco, who winds up on a reality TV show, which is really interesting, and that becomes like a bedrock to the season with like the other characters watching and her struggling through all of like the racism and the discrimination. And then you have Joelle and Reggie who come to head in their own ways, and Reggie, who's had these experiences, you know, winds up getting a gun and stuff like that, and that taking the series into an interesting and darker place including going to a pretty dark place in the last episode that I wasn't quite prepared for. And, you know, this series, I think, tries something different. I don't know if it 100% works as well as the other seasons. I still enjoyed this a lot. I think they did a fine job of trying to wrap this up, but I don't think this season is as strong as the other three seasons. But it is still something that's like, it wraps the series up, it does it with plenty to say, and that's what this series has always been about, is trying to say something. And in general, I think this season does say something, says a lot of things, 
and is able to give some closing pieces to our series and you know it puts our characters at conflict and it builds a little mystery with the frame narrative and in the end I think this delivers a satisfying finale for this great show that Netflix had on their hands. But those are my thoughts on season four and the final season of Dear White People. Let me know what you think and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.